Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome one of Britain's funniest and grumpiest men. It's the hilarious John Richardson's here! Come on, John That was a bit too much. <laughs> big couple of years for me, big couple of years, uh, I got married. Uh, yes, you. And then we got a bit comfortable, you know, you get in that phase after you've been with someone a while, you, you, you start to enjoy things, don't you? I thought we were getting a bit too much sleep and not arguing enough, so we had a child. <laughs> You know, it's, it's, it's having a child puts a lot of strain on the marriage, you know, which is awkward, because I feel like that's my job. Um, <laughs> you see, when you, you love someone, you, you want them to get things right, don't you? You want their lives to be perfect, and that means sometimes you have to point out when they've done something incorrectly. Um, <laughs> you know, I'm just picking the important ones for the time being. Like, for example, my wife doesn't watch television correctly. Um, <laughs> No, it seems so simple, wouldn't it? How could you get that wrong? But she talks to me while it's on, and that can't be right, can it? <laughs> I can't hear that and you as well, can I? <laughs> she say something, I say, write it down. What do you think that notepad's for? <laughs> write it down. She's got one, I've got one. You write it down, we'll talk afterwards. That's better, isn't it? <laughs> well, very often these issues resolve themselves. You're watching telly, go, oh, I wonder what car the killer drives, and then you see it, you go, oh, I could cross that one out now. <laughs> Save some time there, haven't we? <laughs> okay, so then I'll go into the kitchen. I'll think I'll get a whiskey or something like that. I've got to get the whiskey from the kitchen. Now I see the dishwasher's finished. And then we have another problem because I have to empty the dishwasher, right? Now, emptying the dishwasher is one of those nether tasks, isn't it? Nobody quite does it. So I think, well, I can empty the dishwasher for that's the fair thing I can do. So I'll pull the door open like that, pull the drawer out. She very often comes down from bed then because she can hear me screaming. <laughs> she'll say, what's the problem, John? Is it a spider? And I'll say, no, no, it's the dishwasher again. She'll say, you're joking, and then we have to get comfortable while we go through all the mistakes she's made in there. <laughs> and I try to let it go, I really am, but this is important, isn't it, the dishwasher? If you don't wash dishes properly, you're trapping up chewed up, mouldy old bits of food in a warm, damp box, very often overnight. You might as well just kill your family while they sleep. <laughs> I have to talk her through all the things. She'll say, what's the problem? And I'll say, well, it's this upturned bowl on the top shelf of the dishwasher there. <laughs> Not really wrong to put a bowl on the top shelf of a dishwasher on a light load, on a light load, on a light <laughs> load. Malfunction, light load. <laughs> Couldn't help but notice you've put this upturned bowl on top of an upturned plate. <laughs> really just wanted to ask how you thought that was ever going to get clean. <laughs> There's nowhere for the water to get in, is there? <laughs> There's only water in there, you know, you shut that door, water goes everywhere. You, know, you don't shut that door and the back one swings open and all little people come out <laughs> of Give us hand with this one, Barry. <laughs> Stay to that, unbelievable. I lift it up, I say, look, it's exactly as dirty as when it came in, look. It's all covered in stuff, so we'll have to do that one again, won't we? And, uh, well, this plate, I know, I know the underside is clean, but of course, when we say, oh, no, no, where are you going? I'll tell you when I'm finished. <laughs> Sorry? Oh, we're both tired. <laughs> Unbelievable. I think I enjoy this at three o'clock in the morning, do you? <laughs> this, I'm afraid, is where I've had to fail you. Um, it's the bread knife in the cutlery tray. Now, of course, it's called a knife. It sounds like cutlery, doesn't it? But if you'll just squat down with me, you'll see it's too tall to go underneath, isn't it? <laughs> it's too tall, it's stopped the propeller going round there, hasn't it? What's happened? You've shut the door, the propeller has smashed into the bread knife, spent 108 minutes washing the heck out of everything on this axis. <laughs> Everything on this line I absolutely can't fault you with. That's absolutely perfect. <laughs> I'm afraid the rest of it has been a complete waste of both. I wonder when she left, I didn't hear the door. <laughs> Thank you very much. And the rest is uh,